What's up family? How you guys doing today? Adil here with Milky Tech and today we are taking a look at the Speedify K7W AC2100 router. Let's get this done. But before we start, I want to say thank you to Speedify for sending this router out to me so that I can give an honest review. Alright, so let's take a look at the packaging. On the front, we have a picture of the logo. And some information about the router. It will give you excellent Wi-Fi everywhere. It has a high-performing CPU. It has 760 Bi antennas, beamforming, and gaming optimized. They claim that this is a very high-speed router, which will be awesome to test in a little bit. On this side here, we have some specifications. It is compatible with everything from 802.11, A, B, G, and C. It has four gigabit ports. One of them is for your internet seven antennas and it supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz on the 2.4 gigahertz you get speeds up to 300 megabits and on the five you get speeds up to 1733 megabits per second if you guys want the high data speed transfers you want to be connected on the five gigabit internet it has a firewall built in and it uses a mixed wpa wpa2 ps key encryption so it'll keep you nice and safe so you can set this up as an access point if you don't want to use it as a router has parental controls, guest network, WPS, and beam forming technology. All right, so we have our package contents. We have, we have the router, an ethernet cable, your power adapter, and a quick starter guide. On this side, it says that it's easy to set up. Not much on the bottom. And on the back, we have a lot of information. So let's go over it. They claim that this is a faster, more reliable router, especially with their ultra fast Wave 2 AC Wi Fi with the seven omnidirectional antennas. We should be able to get a lot of coverage from this router. It's a white router. We have their beam forming technology, which is basically their omnidirectional antenna. So you don't have to set the antennas up in a special way. You just put them up and you should get omnidirectional coverage everywhere you go. So there shouldn't be any really weak points or dead spots. And it supports 4x4 Mu Mimo technology. If you guys like this kind of content, smash that like and hit subscribe. And the link for this product will be in the description below. So let's unbox this router. Small incision right here. Cut all that out. Pop, pop, pop. Pop. First thing we have is our quick starter guide. It just tells you how to set up the router, which is very good, especially if this is your first time doing it. And I'll be going over how to set it up a little bit later on. Register your product for the warranty. Power brick, an ethernet cord, which looks pretty long. It's a nice flat design. Doesn't say if it's a Cat 6E or a Cat 7. Probably a Cat 6E and the router itself. Let's remove all these plastic covers from the antennas. Boom, 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 boom. We are powering up. So this is how this router will look set up. So you can either set it up like this or how I'm gonna do it is just one up, one down, one up, alternating. This way you can have the most amount of coverage. So let's look at the product. On the bottom of the router we have four feet. I wish they were rubberized, but they are, they have like a pattern to them. So it makes it a little bit less slippery, but I wish they were rubberized. Let's take all the information about the router and serial numbers and everything. On the top we have here what looks like an LED indicator light and the brand of the router. On the back, we have our four ethernet ports. Three are for your network, one is for the internet, we have our WPS uh, dash reset button and our power port. Let's go ahead and plug this in and set it up. Let's first, before we try to set it up in our network place, let's see if this guy actually turns on, turns on. Plug, it is alive. Now that I have this router plugged in, let's set up the network. So the first thing we gotta do is log on to our router. So we'll just type in the IP address after connecting the router directly to the PC via Ethernet. We type in 192.168.3.1 and enter. 
And now we are welcomed with the quick setup wizard. Let's hit start. All right, we'll keep it as dynamic. We'll name it. We could give a password. So we'll give a password. And we'll just, for the time being, we'll just use the same password. We'll click next. And then we'll go to more. We'll log in. And now we have all these settings here. Now you can just set it up that way and just named it the way you wanted to name it. That would have been everything that you needed to do. But I like to go in and, you know, tweak it a little bit i'm going to wi-fi let's go to names make sure that's all set up you can have it as a wireless repeater so if you need extra range here we got channel and bandwidth we can set everything up here whatever wi-fi channels this way if you have a if you're living in a condo or in an apartment or a place where there's a lot of wi-fi signals you can always select the channel that is uh the least congested for me since i'm in a house i'm just gonna leave it on auto okay transmission power i keep it on high so we have the maximum range you have wps for one click connection i turn this off personally rather you have the password you got your beam forming enabled all the setup here is set up the way i like it to be set up i keep my guest network disabled so parental control i could set that up if i wanted to if you have a vpn you can connect to it here ipv6 enable that so for the dns i like to use cloudflare 1.1.1.1 this way it's always the fastest connection and the most secure connection so i like to set that up you just go to 1.1.1 and click on dns like i did earlier and then just follow the settings if you do it on the router you wouldn't have to do it to every single computer if you have an iptv you connect it here so you can broadcast it to other uh computers or monitors tvs if you want to, you could connect the app. All you got to do is just scan this QR code and then you just connect it. You have a firewall. It's enabled. One thing you got to do every time is make sure to update your firmware. Right now it's connecting and it says that we have the latest firmware. Always, you know, check your firmware. I think it's, you know, every few months to make sure that you have the latest firmware. So now that we have our router set up, let's do a speed test. Boom. All right, so our results are, it's fast. And it's about comparable to what I was getting with a stock router. So let's go to our phone and test the uh, Wi-Fi speed. Let's first connect to our new Wi-Fi. Now that we are connected, let's test the speed. So speed test, and then let's run it. All right. So on the Wi-Fi, we're only getting half the speed that we were getting via Ethernet. Now, let me connect to my old router and let's compare the tests. All right. Let's that. Let's connect here. All right, let's test it this time. Now, I'm getting a faster download speed with my old AT&T router. Now, that router is Wi-Fi 6, so it does have an edge on it. But considering... It is pretty quick either way. So if you're having gigabit internet, I wouldn't suggest this router. I would suggest like a Wi-Fi AX router, something that could handle the speed. Overall, this is not a bad router. Uh, considering for 75 bucks at the time of recording this video, it is not a bad router. This is a feature packed router that is very easy to set up and install. Now, will I be using this router? No, I will not. Only the, the reason is it is comparable to my current router and my next system needs to be a mesh system so that it will cover my entire house. Now, I might use this router as a repeater until I can get a mesh system installed. Overall, the router is fast, easy to use, and affordable. This gets two thumbs up from me. Plus, it's not bad looking. And it's profile is very small and it's easy to mount on the wall so you could have this in an area not taking up too much space which is a nice feature if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like hit subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified when i release my next video if you guys have a question a comment or want to say hello drop it in the comments below and i will see you guys next time peace